some of the biggest fans right over here. If we can pan them. Hi guys, how are you tonight? All right, now do we have Team Edward, Team Jacob here? Team Edward! Okay, so I am standing here and I can see each limo as it arrives and it is super exciting. Right behind me, you can see right over my shoulder, one after the other, the limos are arriving, the cast is jumping out of the cars and the fans are going crazy. I mean, we're probably 45 minutes away from the beginning of this movie and it is just unbelievable. I got him, I got him. Hello, we're live on HollywoodPremieres.com. Can you tell us a little about the character you play in the movie? I play a character named Eric Yorkey and uh, I'm a human. I'm, I'm the first person uh, Bella meets at school. Now, do you think that, that he knows about the Cullen family being vampires? I think he thinks something's fishy, but I don't think he has any idea they're vampires, though. You know, you're, you're shooting a pretty uh, scary movie. Did anything spooky happen when you were on the set? Not to me. I mean, not to me. Maybe, like, uh, when I was in my hotel room, I heard, like, people screaming outside my window. <laughs> That's extensive, how uh, freaky you got. Yeah. Any practical jokes on the set? A lot of young people running around? Yeah, I try to pull a lot of jokes on Mike. Um, you know, I think uh, in one of the scenes, I slapped his butt in the middle of it, and he freaked out. He was like, what are you doing? But we kept going. It was fun, yeah. Do you have a favorite scene in the movie? My scene, when I first meet Bella. <laughs> well, look out for that. And how about when you met the other actors? Did they look like what you thought they would look like when you read the book? Yeah. yeah, they did. They totally did. I was, yeah, it was almost like supernatural or something, yeah. What about these fans? Insane. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's crazy. I had no idea it would be like this, yeah. Well, fantastic. Congratulations, and we can't wait to see the movie. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, that was Justin Shawnee plays Eric. I think we're going to go over to either Peter or Drew and see who else is arriving. Drew, what's going on down there by the limo arrivals? It's, it's unbelievable down here. There are so many fans. They have just packed the corners of every street. Take a look behind me. Look at this out there. They're just going and going and going. They are so excited to see this movie. They've been reading the book and they can't get enough of these characters. I play Angela thing. Weber, uh, human and um, best friend hey, of Bella Swan. Uh, what? This is insane! Yeah, I'm so you excited to be here and seeing everyone. Like, I want to have like a minute to go say hi to everyone, but I don't. Have some questions from home viewers. Okay. Uh, Freya would like to know. She said that you had to shoot a lot out of the sun because because you're talking about vampires. What was that like on your mood? Did that affect you? Yeah. Well, definitely, because we were all like so confused as to like if we were supposed to be like bummed or happy when the when the clouds went away because we were like oh that sucks we can't film but oh there's the sun warm like we didn't know what to do because we were well, all so freezing did, um, but um it worked out what about the books now do you have a favorite book breaking dog 
Nice. And you, I love that one. You. Did you get any inside information from Stephanie Myers? I tried. I tried my heart out, but I couldn't. Was everybody just attacking her all the time for stuff? I think I was the only one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was the only one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good luck with the movie. Go see it. She plays Angela. She's fantastic. And uh, stick around. We'll see who else is coming down the red carpet. I know Jackson is here somewhere. Kristen hasn't shown up and Robert hasn't shown up yet, but I'm sure any minute you will hear it. We're going to go to the gym right now so we can get a great shot of what is going on here. So stick around. your pain. I won't ease your strain. You'll be waiting in vain. Come on over. Now you play Mike in the movie, a human. Yes, I do. I play a human. I do not get to be a vampire. Did you ever have any like tug of wars, humans versus vampires? Any challenges? Uh, uh, not. Uh, well, while we were shooting, of course, uh, because uh, you know uh, Mike and Edward are both going after uh, Bella, so we don't we don't get along so well. But. Uh, no, in real life, we all got along swimmingly. Now, all the girls at home really want to know, what was the off-screen chemistry like? Uh, uh, between, uh, uh... Any dirt you want to give us? Any dirt. Um, you know what? I would say that uh, Rob and Kristen, uh, I mean, they are just electric together. I think that it probably stemmed from both of them feeling the pressure of carrying this, this movie. Um, but they're both just so perfect in their in their roles and uh, and their chemistry is just you know just incredible. Do you have a favorite book? I, I well I've only read the first one so far. So far I I know I know but they I've I've told the fans this and they they've forgiven me. Your your character becomes a vampire. Did you know? That? I don't know. I haven't read them all either. Whoa. What would you like to see happen to your character? Um, well actually from what I understand I I. Uh, uh, Mike gets to go on a date with Bella in the second movie, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I'm, I, I am very much looking forward to, to shooting that. If, well, good. Yeah. Good luck with the movie. Thank you so much for we're talking to us. Another? We're going to shoot back over to Peter we're and see what's alert. going on down there. So stick Peter, around. Peter, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, All right. We are back inside this little uh, gated area I have here. I feel like I'm in the ultimate fighter challenge cage right now, and all these people are going to just destroy me. So, again, if you're just joining us, we have so much more to show you tonight. We've gone through so many interviews already. We've got many, many more coming. We've got more people showing up at the limousine tonight. And as I said before, what I think is just fascinating is how many young students and, and kids have come to see this. Um, like I said, I think the average age here is between 16, 17, 18 years old. But let's go down to Drew, see what's going on at the limousine down there. I think we may have something to show you. Drew. This is absolutely amazing. I mean, there are so many people here. What is the fascination with vampires? I mean, do we all secretly want the power? Do we want to be able to suck blood? I mean, I don't know about you, but how cool would it be to find out that you're in love with a vampire? Um, check out behind me. Look at the signs. Look at the fans. It's outrageous. Hey, Tara, what's it like? What's it like on the carpet, Tara? We are here with Sarah Clark. She plays Renee in the movie. Hello. Can you tell us a little bit about your character? Renee plays the mother to Bella, and I had her very young, 17, so I, uh, there's sort of a role reversal in our relationship. She's the more mature one. And when she turns 17, Bella turns 17, she decides that she's going to let me go and have a fun sort of adventure with my new boyfriend, or new husband, actually. And so it's it's an interesting uh, switch between mother and daughter. Now, have you read all the books? Do you have a favorite? I am sorry to say that I've only read the first one. I just got New Moon uh, given to me this weekend, actually, by a, a friend who said, you're crazy, you got to read the rest of them. I have a two-year-old, so the time to get I get to read, but I'm excited to start it. Is there, when you read the first book, is there a scene that you're excited about in the movie seeing? I think the scene when I when I come up to visit Bella in the hospital is a pretty pivotal one because it's just all those emotions that are just inherent between mother and daughter and I get to see the guy, the boy for the first time. So thank you so much. Good luck with the movie. Have a great night.
Okay, I think we're going to send it over to the gym, maybe see, get a big, oh, actually, we're going to go see Drew. Someone, so a little man in my ear just told me we're going to go see Drew and uh, see what's going on down there. I am standing in front of some of the craziest fans. <laughs> they are waiting for the moment to get in this theater. They want to see this movie. Who here wants to see Twilight? Patterson is definitely, Patterson is definitely sexy. Let's see that sign. Show me your signs. Hello, we're here with Kelly Packard. Hello. Why did you want to come to this premiere? I'm sure there's many things you could be doing tonight. You know, this is the only premiere I wanted to come to this year. So I'm so excited that I'm here. This is the place to be. I didn't even realize it was going to be the place to be, but I am at the coolest place on earth right now. There are many, many jealous people at home. Now, you have a new project coming yeah, out. I do. I'm doing GSN Live, hosting with Alfonso Ribeiro and Fred Rogan, having a good time. Nice. Where can we see that? Uh, GS, the Game Show Network, yep. Yep, every day, live, noon to three. So do you have a, is there something specifically you're excited about seeing during this movie? Um, I'm just excited to see how they correlate it, because I'm a fan of the book, so I want to see how they did it. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Charlie's Bella's dad. Bella, Bella needs to get away from her current living situation, so she moves back home with, uh, with her dad, and uh, we're trying to reconnect. And then that whole thing gets interrupted by her falling in love with uh, this vampire kid. Do you think that, Bill, that Charlie knows that he's a vampire? I've always had the theory that Charlie does know about the Cullens, but there's been a lot of disagreement with that. And apparently given the fourth book, I was wrong. But, yeah, I'd like to think that he kind of knows and just, like, is letting it go. So you've read all the books? Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you waiting for? I've, I've heard about the fourth book. Oh, well, now, and did you get any inside information from Stephanie Myers that you can share? No. No, that's all very tight-lipped. No. No. And by the way, I just kind of want to, like, I want to see it as it happens, as we shoot the movies. You know what I mean? That's, that's the way I like to do it. I don't want any information that could, that could taint anything, you know? When you worked on your character, how much of it was from the writing and how much of yourself did you bring to the role? Wow, it's loud! I think Rob Pattinson is here. I think it sounds like that. All right, we'll let you go. It's too loud to talk. Thank you. Good luck with the movie. We're going to cut away and see if Robert is here, in fact, because I, I can't hear anything, but we'll be right back. now is Dreamboat. Now, this oh. is this bigger than you anticipated a little bit? Oh, yeah, it's big enough to where I actually couldn't hear you when you said Dreamboat. I would have said something wittier after that. No. Okay, now we have some viewer questions. Some of them would like to know about your tattoos. My tattoos? I wonder why they think it's plural. I actually only have one tattoo. Oh. You know, and it, Story is mixed up. Oh, perhaps. And it, uh, I have a tattoo that says, I'm lost. Okay, so we answered your question, home viewer. And some other home viewers have some more questions. Like, what was it like shooting in the dark all the time? You couldn't shoot when it was sunny. Was that depressing? You know, it, uh, there's that you know seasonal affective disorder. Sad. Uh, I, I I didn't really get sad myself. Uh, I, I'm more of an indoor sports indie guy. You know, like 
I, I love playing guitar and uh, watching TV, so I mean, I, I, that's all I really need in life. I'm happy. Now, were there any jam sessions with you and the rest of the cast? I know a lot of you are pretty musical. There was. Uh, Robert Pattinson plays guitar and sings. I play guitar, uh, play harmonica. Uh, Nikki Reed sang, and Kristen Stewart played guitar and sang as well. So we had a very wow. musical cast. Wow, so late night jamming, huh? The Cullen Family Band. Now, what was the baseball game like to shoot? Oh, the baseball game was a lot of fun. We had a lot of weather issues uh, in terms of it would rain and hail and be sunny and then it, it, all in one hour. So, uh, But the saying in Portland was, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. Now, wait, had you been to Portland before the shoot? This is my first time, and I really enjoyed it. Beautiful, beautiful landscape. And you just got back from London. What were you doing in London? I was filming a movie in London called Dread, which is uh, based on the Clive Barker uh, Books of Blood series, and it, uh, it's a thriller directed by Anthony de Blasi, and uh, it should be a lot of fun. Do you do any, any movies with, like, happy puppies and unicorns, or is it all this dark stuff mostly? I'm hoping my next couple projects are going to be happy puppies and unicorns. You know, I think that should be the title. And I'll happy be puppies and unicorns. Happy puppies and unicorns. Have you written it yet? I mean, can we do it? I'm going to get right on that. Right on I'll, talk to, I'll talk to your people. <laughs> Good luck with the movie, Jackson Rathbone. Say hi to the fans at home. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for the support. Appreciate it. Excellent. Oh, my God. I'm enjoying all these interviews. I hope you guys are enjoying them also. We still have Kristen Stewart, Robert Battison, and we also have Taylor Lautner yet coming your way. Okay. And, and I'm just going to be with you the rest of the way. We're having a wonderful night here in beautiful Westwood, Los Angeles, California, for the world premiere of Twilight. Hopefully you haven't just joined us because you've missed a lot, but we still have three or four other huge stars from the movie Twilight. Let's go. Uh, let's throw it. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, Drew. We're gonna go. To, let's go to Tara. I think she's got someone for us. Tara. We are here with Anna Kendrick. She's in the film. Tell us a little about the role of Jessica. Um, Jessica is one of Bella's friends at her new school, and um, she kind of takes it upon herself to introduce her to um, all the characters, um, and specifically to Collins and Edward, because Jessica, as does everyone else, has you know this incredible crush on Edward. Um, but she doesn't know that there that he's a vampire, that there are vampires, and you know just feels like strangely drawn to him for some reason she can't explain. Now, would Anna be the type of girl to take the new girl around school, or is this is this a reach? For you? Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess Jessica's a little more gossipy about it than anything. Um, she kind of has to work her opinion into every description. Um, she tries to do it subtly, but not very well. Um, but uh, yeah, she kind of tries to make it clear that, you know, uh, Edward's not going to be into you, you know, because why would he be into you if he's not into me, which is a little sad. But um, that's high school. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, we're back and we're about to talk to Eddie Gathegi. Now, he has my favorite name in the movie by far. He plays Laurent. Now, what's cool about this character is he doesn't have a huge part in this book, but they've expanded his role in the movie. And I believe he's going to be coming up in the other, the other books, and hopefully they'll make those into movies and you'll get to see him. And he also has crazy dreadlock hair in the movie. Your hair looks totally different. Yeah, I had to cut the locks. Those were not your locks. Come on. No, it was a wig. It was a wig. What was that process like, getting ready? Um, it was your standard hair makeup procedure. You know, I was in the chair for about an hour. But they actually used a lot of my own hair. My hair was bigger at the time. And they infused it in the, uh, the wig. So it, it looked natural. What about the vampire transformation? I heard that you guys did some movement exercises. And yeah, we had this, like, dance expert come. And she taught us, you know, cat-like movements uh, that really didn't come into play for my character. I was, you know, walking out of a forest like a human being bare-chested in the freezing cold in Portland. Now you're one of those characters that got expanded for the film. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't really have a movie without the conflict. And in the book, our characters aren't introduced until, this is crazy. I know, until page 300. So you have to introduce them sooner in order for the movie to make sense. This is insane. This is insane. Did you have any idea what you were getting into? Absolutely not. <laughs> you're, now you're working all the time. What, where else can we see you these days? Um, the you can see me in right My Bloody Valentine, like January 16th. That's the next thing that I have. Cool. Thank you so much, Eddie, and I love your name. I could just say it all day long. Eddie Gathegi. Thank you so much. Stick around. We'll be back in a minute.
he started getting a little bit sleepy here in the crowd, but all of a sudden, another star has just arrived and making the crowd go crazy. We also have, uh, I think you've seen Jenny Garth from 9 Holy cow, and they're going crazy. There's still more stars. There's still more stars coming. Oh, my goodness. Look at all these fans tonight. They are, they are some of the biggest fans in Los Angeles here tonight. They're going to stay all night if they have to to get a glimpse of their best. Let's go up to the gym. Uh, let's go to the sky cam, my favorite camera. Not only does this movie open this Friday night, it's a special midnight show tonight. So if you want to go see it, go see it at midnight when the moon is full and when the vampires come out. We will be right back. Stay with us. We've got a few more celebrities coming your way. Don't go anywhere. This is the only place to be. HollywoodPremieres.com. like for you Eddie told us a little bit about his character um, for me actually well I got to keep my crazy wild hair which was great uh, the main thing for me was really trying to be graceful because I'm not usually so I worked really hard on trying to give Victoria a presence in the movie um, that the fans would think was was accurate and you guys got to show up during the famous baseball scene yes. what was that like go ahead and answer <laughs> it. it was it was incredible, and it was also really bizarre because you had to do these things with special effects, with like you'd be holding a baseball and then be holding a CGI ball and stuff, and you'd yeah. be trying to make it look like you were super fast, but you'd be going super slow. I mean, it was so, it was fun. It was technical, but it was fun. It was super cold, super cold. Super cold. And we were barefoot. Going back to this cold thing, now it was freezing and dark when you had to shoot because vampires can't be in the sunlight. What was that like? Again, it was cold. Again, it was cold, <laughs> and again it was dark. You yeah. Know, if the sun came through, then we couldn't shoot you know I miss the LA Sun yeah yeah now, have you read ahead is there something you're excited about in the upcoming books well I'm really excited for Eclipse um, you know sort of new moon is the sort of next step in my character and it leads to what happens in Eclipse which is the big sort of climax for me and so I'm really looking forward to that She's got good stuff, yeah. good stuff <laughs> coming up. I know, I'm looking forward to more of you guys in the upcoming book so fingers crossed for secret fingers, fingers crossed, crossed. with a big Neil Lane ring finger crossed <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Have fun tonight. Bye. Yeah. Thanks, man. We're going to go to, uh, I don't know where we're going. We're going somewhere. Stick around. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We have Peter Feccinelli here yeah, signing some autographs. Guys. Welcome. How are you? Congratulations tonight. Thank you. you look fantastic. Thank you. you. tell us a little bit about how this evening is treating you? You know, it's, uh, I don't think you could ever expect the turnout that's come out tonight, but we're definitely all excited, and, and I think that the fans are going to enjoy the movie. I've seen it. It's very truthful to the book. You've seen it. Yeah. And it's truthful. That is so good to hear. Yeah. I'm, I'm a lot of fans would be very happy to hear that. Yeah. I, my 11-year-old has seen it. 
She's uh, and and she said she loved it too, and I and she was my biggest litmus test. No kidding. Yeah. She she loved it. Is she a fan of the books as well? Yeah. She well she read Twilight. She's 11, so I, I'm gonna hold back on the on the sequels until she gets a little older. Right, right. But I think you know for an 11 year old it's it's okay. That will get you eight absolutely. Yeah. Well, enjoy the whole night. What's next for you? I'm doing a, a Showtime series called Nurse Jackie with Edie Falco. So amazing. Love Edie Falco. Congratulations. Good luck with that. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you, sir. All right. Peter Vecinelli and with the beautiful Jenny Garth. She looks like Grace Kelly tonight. My goodness. Okay. Well, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We've got three or four more interviews coming your way. Peter Waldman, Hollywood Premieres. I seek you out, flay you alive. One more word and you won't survive. We're about to talk with Catherine Hardwick. She is the woman of the hour, the director of this film. She has a lot of hugs to give, so we're going to be very patient and we're going to hopefully get her over here in just a minute. Catherine, can we ask you for live? Can we ask you some questions? Definitely. How y'all doing? When you were approached with this film, was the script written yet, or was it still just a book? No, there was an old script that was very different. It was more like a Charlie's Angels. So I read it, and then I read the book, and I said, we have to throw out the script and make it like the book. So we worked a lot to get it to be like the book. Now, what can you tell us about sequels? Do you have any, any news for us, any dirt? Well, I think by, you know, a one week from now, or maybe earlier, we're going to know if it makes enough money to make the sequel. So. I think you guys are going to be okay, judging by this crowd. It's pretty amazing. Now, what is, what is, what are the fans going to be most excited? What scene do you think the fans are going to well, like the most? There's a pretty hot kissing scene. <laughs> the baseball scene. People like the baseball scene, and people like the fight scene. So maybe it's a toss-up between those three. Yeah. Right, I'm excited about all of it. Good luck tonight. Thank you so much, Catherine Hardwick. We are going to be right back, so don't go anywhere. We have some really cool stuff coming up. Oh, if I'm too far gone And before nothing can be done You want to see something fun? Follow me. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live! Let's make some noise! We have, Rob, we have a Robert Pattinson sighting. We have people climbing over the barricades. I'm seeing security trying to get a oh, handle on all the people. Okay, Robert Pattinson is making his way down the red carpet. He's about six interviews away from my co-host, Tara Sands. So stay with us. Don't go anywhere. We have Robert Pattinson interview coming up your way. about the kissing scene. That's all we want to know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, it's, it's not a typical makeout scene, you know? It's like very strained and very particular, so, you know, it was so much fun. Yeah, I had nightmares when I read the book. Did you have any crazy dreams while you were working on this? I feel like I didn't dream. I didn't sleep. I mean, I didn't, I, it was like, I, I thought so much while I was awake that once I went to sleep, it was like black time. Well, okay, now, now this movie and this book have diehard fans. What are you a diehard fan of? Music or movies or books? Um, music, movies, and books, all of them. All of them. You yeah. have a favorite band, or is Robert Pattinson your favorite musician now? No. I mean, I love him. I, it's sort of overexposure. I've heard his songs over and over and over. Um, I mean, I feel like I would be sort of a traitor if I didn't say the Beatles. Yeah. Awesome. Well, good luck with the movie. Have fun tonight. Kristen Stewart, everybody. Go check out the movie. Thank you so much. All right, hang around. We're going to hopefully talk to Robert Pattinson any minute. I can't wait.
hey. Hey, everyone at home. Now, what do you want to say to the fans? I hope you like the movie. <laughs> I mean, from the heart, though. From the heart, I'm from the heart. I'm absolutely terrified if people will like it or not. I mean, like having all this before anyone's even seen it, it's the most frightening thing you can possibly imagine. So, like when it comes out, I really hope the reaction will be the same. Now, some of the home viewers had questions for you. They want to know how you worked on your American accent. Um, I didn't really work on it. I just kind of did it. It's just, just that good. <laughs> yep. And now, was there a lot of jamming going on? You all, a bunch of your musicians. Oh yeah, yeah, tons and tons. Jackson's a great musician, and like everyone has like become a musician. I was like, shit, it's so strange. Well, we can't wait to hear the song and the soundtrack. Good luck tonight. We got to talk to him. Really? That was the money shot right there, you guys. I don't think it gets any better than that. And did you see his hair? Did you see the hair? All right, stand by. I got I to gotta get a drink of water. We'll be right back. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at HollywoodPremieres.com. I'm Drew Bell, and we've been at the premiere of Twilight, which opens this Friday night. Peter! Drew, thank you so much. No one could have done it better at the limousine camera. From Hollywood Premieres, I'm Peter Waldman, and I want to thank all of the fans here in the crowd cam. Have a wonderful night. Go see Twilight. That opens this Friday. Let's finish it off here with my beautiful co-host, Tara Sands. Tara, what's going on? It's so much fun on the red carpet. This was probably the craziest premiere that I've ever seen. Thank you so much for watching. Keep your questions coming, and, and for the next premiere, we'll get all your questions asked. And I'd like to thank Robert Pattinson. I'm never washing this hand again. Good night. Go home. Thank you for watching. I guess you're home already.